I'd, I'd feel worse if I wasn't doing anything creative and I was just working some job just to just because it made money. I don't know what would fill the void. Like you kind of have to go 100% with music and just really believe in it. No matter how long it takes you to become relevant or buzzing or whatever it takes for you to succeed in your mind, it's, you keep doing what you're doing and doing it really honestly and really well, you're eventually going to get recognized for it. Barbara Streisand, my car looks like ice man. Bitch, I'm a bad guy. No, I'm not a nice man, but I'm always shining. Hang around and get a nice tan. We're kind of trying to find that medium of like trying to keep up with this this new kind of internet era where everyone has kind of ADD. People don't pop in a CD and listen to the whole album. They don't have time for that. It's like click and skip. So you got to catch them right away. You got to keep yourself relevant. You got to hold their attention. We're trying to find that middle ground between quantity and quality. I think as much as we like to believe, we're our own constructors of our fate. It's like if you don't get if you don't get fucked over once in the industry, then that's crazy. I mean, I'm glad we got some shit out of the way. So now it just makes it kind of that much easier on us. And now it's like I feel like we're our, our, our career is like really way more in our own hands and we're kind of our own puppet masters rather than have like putting all the responsibility in someone else's hands and kind of secretly guiding us. Um, so if we fuck up, it's really just on us now. I, mean, I think it's, it's impossible that you're never gonna alienate, alienate some fans, but when you're creating you always got to think of yourself first. Is, this, is it what you want to do or is it what your fans want you to do? And what's more important? What's going to be more honest? You know? Um, we could be doing the same albums over and over, but that's not going to be fun at all for us or fulfilling. So There's a lot of things you can't do without fear, where it's like, you know, you can't. People wouldn't skydive anymore if it wasn't scary. You, know, you need something to drive you to overcome. kind of like a pressure as well when you release a song that's going to be there forever in a hundred years that song will still be there and if you don't put all you can into it you're just it's not going to be significant or noteworthy for that you know it's not going to stand any kind of test of time so it's something about putting out music you really have to make sure everything you do is the best you can do I mean, on one hand, that's super inspiring. Always trying to outdo yourself, and I think we definitely do that. We're always trying to try new things and outdo our last project. At the same time, that's the worst thing for an artist. They have a project, they don't think it's perfect, and they work on the same project for two years and never put it out, or a year, keep changing it, and they never get it out of their hands and move on to the next thing. So trying to be a perfectionist doesn't always work. You know, it holds back a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, in one sense, it's okay to like put yourself out there, and people can kind of see you grow. They can grow with you. Maybe that's more interesting than just being a master after 50 years of working on music and then finally putting out something. Maybe it's more interesting to see the development and growth and see the little faults of the stuff we put out at the beginning. But I mean, a lot of people like the old shit more maybe, so it doesn't really matter. You can critique yourself all you want, but at the end of the day, um, there's thousands of other people who are gonna be judging your work too.